Hello friends. Welcome to Library Facts. Today, we're going to talk about a very interesting topic, library carpentry, and how digital tools are making it even easier and more effective. So let's get started. What is library carpentry? Library carpentry is a process where library data, information, and resources are organized and managed. It's like data carpentry, where digital tools are used to make library tasks more efficient. In today's digital age, the importance of library carpentry has grown significantly. It not only helps in organizing data, but also assists researchers, students, and readers in accessing the right information. Earlier, Traditional methods were used in library work, but today, digital tools have made this work much easier. Let's take a look at some of these tools. The first tool is spreadsheet software, like Excel or Google Sheets. With these, you can easily organize library data, such as book lists, loan records, and even reader information. The second tool is reference management software, like Zotero or Mendeley. These tools help researchers and students manage their research papers and references. The third tool is OpenRefine, which helps clean and organize data. This tool is very useful for managing large datasets in libraries. The fourth tool is library management software, like Koha or Evergreen. These software manage the entire library system digitally. The fifth tool is digital repository software like DSpace or ePrints. These tools help store and share digital resources in libraries. Benefits of using digital tools. Using digital tools makes library work much easier. These tools save time, improve data accuracy, and make information more accessible. However, there are some challenges in adopting digital tools, such as a lack of technical knowledge or budget issues. But these challenges can be overcome with training and proper planning. In the future, library carpentry will become even more advanced. Technologies like AI and machine learning will make library work even smarter. How to use Excel slash Google Sheets for library data. Let's learn how to use Excel or Google Sheets to organize library data. First, create a new sheet and add columns, such as book title, author, and genre. Now, enter the data and use formulas to calculate the total number of books. You can use filters and sorting options to easily organize the data. This way, Excel or Google Sheets is a great tool for managing library data. How to use Zotero slash Mendeley for reference management. Now, let's learn how to use Zotero or Mendeley for reference management. First, install Zotero and import your research papers. You can organize references with tags and categories. This way, Zotero or Mendeley makes your research much easier. How to clean data using OpenRefine. Now let's learn how to clean data using OpenRefine. First, import your dataset into OpenRefine. Then, use filters and transform options to clean the data. This way, OpenRefine makes your data more accurate. How to manage a library using Koha slash Evergreen. Now, let's learn how to manage a library using Koha or Evergreen. First, add the book catalog and enter reader information. Then manage the loan and return process. This way, Koha or Evergreen helps manage the library digitally. How to create a digital repository using DSpace slash ePrints. Now, let's learn how to create a digital repository using DSpace or ePrints. First, set up the repository and upload documents. Then, add metadata and publish the repository. This way, your library's digital repository is ready. Tips for getting started. 1. Start small. Choose one tool to begin with like Excel or Zotero. 2. Train your team. Ensure everyone is comfortable using the tools. 3. Seek support. Join online communities or forums for help. 4. Evaluate and improve. Regularly assess your processes and make improvements. And that's a wrap. We've explored library carpentry, and how digital tools are transforming libraries. Whether it's managing data, organizing references, or creating digital repositories, these tools are making library work faster, smarter, and more efficient. If you found this video helpful, like, share it with your friends, 
and don't forget to subscribe to Library Facts. Thank you.